yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad And welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again With another video for you guys Now if you guys are, you know what I'm saying, faithful to the channel and you guys have been, you know, in the loop with all the vlogs and stuff like that, and you guys would have noticed that I said I'm just back at it again with another video. I didn't say I'm back at it again with a banger. You know what I'm saying? Um, so with that being said, in the title and the thumbnail, you guys can already tell that, you know, the vibe for this video is kind of solemn, kind of, you know depressing, kind of sad, kind of frustrated, not really depressing, but kind of frustrated, um, so basically, you know, Vader just hit 20,000 miles, if you guys are new to the channel, you know what I'm saying, my name is J.I., Vader is my 2021 Camaro SS1 LE, A10, um, you know what I'm saying, it's pretty much a bolt-on car on E85 tuned by NRG, and, uh, yeah, Anyway, so, you know, I just hit 20,000 miles on the car, and I actually got the car at 10,000, so I've put 10,000 miles on the car, man, and if you guys know me, you know, you, you know, you watch all the videos and stuff like that, then you guys know I, I really like to stay on top of the maintenance of all of my vehicles, um, you know what I mean? I whether it be oil changes, whether it be spark plugs, coil packs, like, you know, brakes, rotors, stuff like that. Like, I, I just like to stay on top of because, you know, if you're ahead of it, you know what I mean, you're not going to be, you're not going to find yourself, you know, stuck in the middle of nowhere because you forgot to change your oil and now your motor didn't seized up on you and you know what i'm saying you can't go nowhere you feel me just for like an example i know that was hell, like hella drastic hella dramatic but you know it is what it is um so basically i was you know doing an oil change on my car and uh i get the car up in the air you know i didn't record none of that because you guys have seen me do an oil change on this car before half of you guys know how to do an oil change and half of you guys have seen me do oil changes on all of my other vehicles so with that being said man you know i got the car up in the air and uh i was not too pleased by what i found so let me go ahead and post those pictures up on the screen real quick for y'all So yeah, man, as you guys can see, we definitely have a oil leak coming from what seems to be the oil pan. Um, now, one thing about six gens that I've noticed is this tends to happen a lot. And, you know, my boy back to the money back when he had the Green Hornet, you know what I'm saying? I, I saw the same thing happening on his car and you know he said that it was a normal thing that people told him that it was a normal thing so when i saw the same thing on my car the very first time i did the oil change on the car i just thought oh yeah you know what i'm saying normal wear and tear but then it dawned upon me like at that time the car literally had like eleven thousand miles no actually it had ten thousand on it still because you know the dealership shorted the oil um, but yeah, I, I noticed that, you know what I'm saying, there was a little bit of like oil on the oil pan, a little bit of like soot and like dirt grime, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that on the oil pan. So with that being said, um, you know, I was like, you know, I'm going to make note of that and just, you know, keep an eye out on it. And that's what I've done, um, throughout the oil changes that I've done to the car. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie, none of the times that I've been under my car has it looked that bad. It has never looked that bad. Like, there's literally, like, oil on bolts. There's oil on lines. Like, there's there's oil pretty much almost everywhere um, around the oil pad. And that kind of frightens me, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Just because the car has 20,000 miles, you know what I mean? It should not look like that. It should not look like there's, like, a rear main seal leak or something like that because it's literally a brand new car man 20,000 miles like that's that's literally nothing um so with that being said I am a little worried that you know what I'm saying I'm seeing that this early so I went ahead and I reached out to my boy Frank because like I told y'all, you know what I mean? I was under the impression that this was something that's normal with six gens, you know, it's to be expected. So I reached out to my boy Frank and I just asked him, I'm like, hey man, you know, is it really normal to see, you know what I'm saying, oil pans from six gens just covered in oil like this? And you know, my boy Frank was like, nah man, you shouldn't see any kind of fluid um, at all. As, you know what I'm saying, I assumed, you feel me? So, with that being said, um, we're definitely going to have to take Vader to, you know what I'm saying, Mike Hike and have them just, you know, go ahead and look it over. I'm going to hop out, give you guys like a walk around and stuff like that for those of you that are new. This is my 2021 Camaro SS1LE. Um, I actually just cleaned it up, so that's why I kind of wanted to give you guys a walk around of the car. And um, I'm actually about to switch it up. I'm about to throw the uh, drag pack on the car um, and going to do a couple other things, you know what I'm saying, to get this car set up for like the track. Like it's going to be like the track set up. So you guys are going to see a couple changes with the car. But um, yeah, man, as far as that oil leak goes, I haven't seen any oil like on the ground in the JIHQ. I haven't seen, you know, drastic oil loss um as far as like when i take the dipstick and stuff like that i definitely still have oil um i like to stay on top of all my oil changes like i told you guys so you know i really changed this oil on vader literally like you know how you have the oil life i really change it at like 75 percent left i'm not gonna lie to y'all i really like to stay on top of maintenance so i just keep the oil changed as much as possible i like to keep that oil you know what i'm saying new oil in there you know it's hot in houston man don't want the oil to get like super thin and then you know i mess around and you know spin a bearing or something like that you know which is not uncommon but not common with these lt motors man so with that being said man i just you know i just saw it you already know man i like to tell you guys everything keep everything a buck with y'all keep you guys in the loop with everything that goes on with this build so you know i just thought i might as well pick up the camera show you guys all my six gen owners man if your car is looking like that man and you are still in warranty or you know what i'm saying you don't care about paying that price to make sure that your car is good bro i would definitely take it to the nearest dealer that you can trust you feel me and have them go ahead and check out that oil pan for you um if i'm being honest with y'all man you know what i'm saying i really don't trust too many dealerships as you guys already know if it's something that needs to be done to my car and i can do it i'm gonna do it if it's something that, you know what I'm saying, I can't do. I'm still going to do my best to get it done. It's just how I am. I really like nitpicky with who works on my cars and, you know, who touches them. So, with that being said, if you guys have a trusted dealership, I would definitely recommend taking your car in and just making sure that, you know, everything is good. Because I personally feel like it's leaking from the oil pan gasket. Um, if you guys are... You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to really tell in the video. I mean, not in the video, but in the pictures. Um, but the oil seems to be heavier on the passenger side versus the driver's side. So I personally feel like the gasket itself for the oil pan has gone bad. Maybe there's like a pinch or a tear or a nick in it on the passenger side and it's causing oil to you know seep out 
but obviously there's just not a full seal. That's basically what's going on. Um, the oil pan is not completely sealed and that's why it's leaking oil. It's not heavy, it's not crazy like I was telling y'all, so I'm not like too, too worried about it, but y'all already know me, man, and my pet peeves, so I can't, I can't have Vader you know what I'm saying? I can't I can't have Vader sitting dirty like that. So with that being said, y'all, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. Just wanted to inform you guys what's going on with Vader, man. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for the kid, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, man. And uh let's go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.